Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a simple parrot cage that you can use to store all of your feathery friends whilst you're out there adventuring. And let me tell you, Bruce loves it so much that he's having a dance party in there. Let me show you how to make it. So if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some end rod, some spruce wood slabs, some oak wood stairs, some spruce wood fence, some iron bars, some glowstone, and if you can't coax a parrot in yourself, if Polly's a little bit too smart for you, you might have to spawn one in manually. And by the way, feel free to swap around the colours of woods, and maybe even swap the bars out for some glass, because in certain situations, depending on where you're building this thing, you might want to use a certain different set of colours. However, once you have each one of these materials, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be suspending mine from this totally not made by me tree. You're going to want to begin by placing two end rods coming down from a branch or a ceiling or wherever. You then want to place a spruce wood slab underneath the end rods, like this. And you're going to actually want to place an additional spruce wood slab underneath the end rod in such a way that the spruce wood slab does not touch the end rod like this so that you have a little bit of a gap. You then want to place a light source, glowstone, underneath the spruce wood. Then place oak wood stairs coming out of each one of the four faces of your glowstone, like this. Place a spruce wood fence in between each one of the four corners of your oak wood stairs. We now want to place iron bars coming under the square frame of the fence and the stairs. So you can see that we've actually created a square surface in which we can now place bars underneath. You might want to leave one face of the cage open, because then we can actually put our parrot in there. And you may also want to add an additional layer of iron bars. If you want, however, you can have a smaller cage by simply only adding one layer of bars. But that is, once again, it's kind of up to you whether you want to do that or not. Now, underneath the bottom center of the cage, you can add either an additional light source or you can kind of just have an empty space, or you could use like a spruce wood or something, but it wants to be underneath the bottom center of the cage. We then want to place oak wood stairs, upside down oak wood stairs at that, all the way around the block that you placed underneath the bottom center of the cage, like this. Then place a spruce wood fence in between the gaps of these stairs again, like so. And then finish the cage off by placing a spruce wood slab directly underneath the bottom center block. So whether that was a glowstone or what have you, then that's kind of up to you. And that's pretty much the cage done. However, we do have to add our very own parrot in there. And by the way, this is kind of like a cool little thing that I like to add. You know how in a lot of bird cages you have like little stands for the parrot? If you add a sideways end rod like this inside of the cage, then it gives your parrot something to kind of sit on. It's really cool. So I'm going to throw a, a, a parrot in there. I think that I'm going to call... What shall I call you? I'm going to call him Marbles. Marbles is looking very nice, very blue. I very much like him. And as you can see, he is free to either roam around. He doesn't have to necessarily sit on the end rod. Or, as a lot of parrots might do, as you can see over there, they kind of just perch themselves on the end rod and they're as happy as Larry. Another idea, by the way, if you wanted to, you could actually place a jukebox in the bottom center of the birdcage. And then, at will, you can kind of make your parrot dance, which I think is a little bit evil. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is the parrot cage. Nice simple great design i hope that you guys like it if you want to see smaller kind of shorter tutorials kind of simpler tutorials like this in the future please do let me know down there in the comment section if you've had enough of this already despite the fact that i've only kind of made one of these sorts of videos please also let me know and do let me know if you want to see anything else like i don't know do you want to see like a very simple dog house or a very simple cat house or whatever let me know down there in the comments like the video if you enjoyed it please also subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more things like this or if you want to see some more house tutorials or other stuff that I end up making I do all sorts of crazy stuff on the channel subscribe find out what I'm up to click the little bell next to the subscription button and please check out the card system and the description below you will find loads and loads of stuff in there trust me thank you so much for watching guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video